Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in my 30B on Dragon Ridge, flying solo. And you know how I like close games. This one is going to come down to the wire. So stick around. Ending is pretty awesome. So once again, I'm in my 30B. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of finding, now that I haven't played it for a while, I've kind of forgotten what it was like. Um, still do miss that velocity. Man, I wish they'd just give that back. I don't care about all the other nerfs they gave it. Just trying to lead targets with the crappy velocity that it has compared to what it used to have is pretty difficult. <laughs> Alright, Dragon Ridge. A lot of people know this location. Uh, it's like a little sniper hill. Usually Artie will pre-aim it, so you gotta be careful. Um, as soon as I get up here, I spot a 113. And I wasn't ready to shoot, but my, I believe my shit barn behind me, no, my death star behind me, uh, at least tracked him there, took 700 damage. And now, I took this location, that way I could spot from two directions, so I spot that 1390, and now I have a shit barn beside me. And once again, I don't have the IS-4 uh, pre-aimed. So when I took a swing at him, the accuracy is just too terrible on this tank to make snapshots. But you're going to miss every shot you don't take, so. Now they're starting to push the 9 line pretty aggressively. And we don't have a ton of tanks down there, so I'm going to try to make a play down there. So slide down the hill. Got this Wizard 111 5A in front of me. It's a good tank to have. I'm not sure exactly where he wants to push, but I want him to take lead and I'll support him. Comes over here, drops their fatherland, and I really don't want to uh, make an engagement down there. I see my waffle up here with the E75, and what I'm thinking is if he doesn't kill the E75, I'm gonna try to finish him up see how this goes and I just don't have the gun depression to get to his lower plate so I stop and try to get a shot into his top cap there already takes down our waffle you gotta see how high I gotta get up to make this shot count and he hits me for 300 so I realize that he's got the small gun our E3 shoots their E4 their batch at takes our 13105 I know I'm going to reload before him, so I shut their E75 down. Now I spot their E3 back there, and I try to shoot at his engine deck, and I miss. I still had heat loaded from the E75, and now I'm targeted, so I'm not sure where that's coming from. I figure it's coming from behind me since they're taking our ridge. So what I want to do is try to stay out of their vision. Um, and now I'm going to support this ship barn. In case he misses or leaves him on a sliver, I'm going to be here to clean him up. And actually make the pass on him. So what I want to do is try to get a track in here. That way he can't turn on my ship barn. My ship barn takes care of him. Alright, so now I see that there's a medium tank on pursuit. Um, so what I want to do is put separation in between me and my ship barn. And if that medium pursues me, I'm hoping that my ship barn is going to be able to just can him. So as I approach here, I kill the STI. I see there's an IS-4 pushing on my tank destroyers. Their RE-3 kills their bat chat. Their 113 kills our FB-215B. I shut down the IS-4. And now there's a K-91. And he is in hot pursuit of me. So I just want to make some distance and really just bring him out in front of the open uh, so my ship barn can can him. Now I want to try to get him tracked but it's too late. My ship barn gets him the same time their 48 Patton kills the ship barn. So you can see we're down. It's four to six. This is tight stuff. Uh, this leopard comes flying out and before I can take him down I get shot from three different directions. And now the leopard gets put on a one shot. Alright, so at this point I was pretty defeated. 
Uh, I didn't think that these three tank destroyers were going to be able to pull it off. Um, but now we're going to go into Blazing Nine Inferno, or Blazing Inferno, I imagine is what his name's supposed to be. And we're going to watch him. So the Stir of B uh, is his tank of choice, and he is a rock star at it. Um, he's using these slight little undulations to uh, stay hull down. And I believe heat shells, if they hit this front grate, uh, they just absorb right into it. It's like shooting a fence or shooting a house with a heat shell. Um, the damage doesn't go any further than where the shell explodes itself. So our E3 just starts to charge the pattern, and this is where I kind of thought he was making a bad decision. Um, I felt like he should have turned and helped our Jag Tiger, which is permatracked by this pattern. However, the Stir of B realizes, recognizes the problem, and he's going to get in siege mode here, shoot the pattern. One more shot will do it, and unfortunately, the Jag Tiger brings him over to part of the hill where he's actually laying on top of him. So their patent takes down our Jag, our, our Sturve takes down their patent, and now really all this 103 has been doing is he's permatracked by their other patent. Uh, their patent just keeps peeking out and shooting the track off the three so it can't move anywhere and he's actually at an angle to where he can't shoot at the patent when he pokes the corner but stir of B to the rescue this guy just is like in siege mode as soon as he knows he needs to be so he shuts down their leopard and I don't even think the patent realizes but the e E3 became un tracked at that point and now the E3 is going to make another move which is unnecessary but he's just going to try to fa face hug the patent and right now they have him in um, they have him in a funnel so there's nowhere for him to go that's I just disagree with the decision the E3 made but everybody has their own decision that they can make and that's what makes us game so awesome. So as the patent tries to escape, the Stir B shuts him down, and now it's just the Stir B versus uh, 13105 and a 4043. So in my opinion, I was thinking that the 13105 was going to go around behind him. And somebody pings the map, so they're obviously thinking the same thing I was. I try not to ping the map or give them information um, that they don't know. And the 13105 was spotted. Not sure where Artie is, so I don't know that I can help this guy. Not to mention, I don't play my Stir of B a lot, so I don't really understand where it works. Um, and when it comes to fighting a scout, I usually just get my ass handed to me. So. Um, Hoping that this guy, I mean, he's already shown off plenty of skills. He's still full health, and he's fought how many tanks? Um, I think five. So as he's coming up this hill, it looks like he was going to go make a play on Artie, but on, to his advantage, Artie comes and tries to make a play on him. Now, one thing I do know is the Stir of B, if it gets connected by Artie, um, it can lose a lot of health if not one-shotted. But this guy is just balls to the walls. Uh, this 4043 thought that he was going to come around behind him, and then he decides not to. So I feel like he makes a mistake as far as comes over here. So he's facing the 4043's gun, and then he chooses not to go into siege mode. So this 4043 has his gun barrel right in this guy's face, but he finally gets into siege mode puts him down, and all of a sudden the 13105 shows up. He's not in siege mode anymore, so now it's pretty much him just driving around. He pinches the 13105 up against the mountain, um, but obviously that's not going to work. 13105 can sit behind him, just get loaded, and then uh, finish him up. 
So what he tries to do is just get away, and as he's getting away, 13105 gets too high on that hill, and rather than flying off the other side, he's got to turn, and he turns right into the Sturve V, and the Sturve V ends the game with a ram. And really, man, <clears throat> that just escalated quickly. It was kind of a slow-paced game. They started pressing the 9 line, and then everything just started flying around. Unfortunately, I couldn't finish it up, but my serve B and my team did. So let's go to end game stats. Did 2,500 damage, 3,000 assisted. Serve B did 5,700, 5 kills. Our E3 did 3k damage, 3 kills. Um, was a little aggressive and just kind of seemed like he had the blinders on. But, I mean, he definitely contributed. Our Yag Tiger did 2600 damage. There already took first, probably from uh, shooting our Waffle at E100, killing the Tier 10. Uh, it's going to push him up the ranks. He did do 2800, 1 kill. Uh, their Patton did 3200 with 3 kills. Their other Patton with 2200 and a kill. And it was kind of spread out through the rest of the way. Their IS-4, 113, and 105. And their E3 uh, did over 2k damage. But it wasn't enough because we had Blazing Inferno on our team. And he threw down like a rock star. So just wanted to feature that game for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video.